Golden Boy is a Japanese Ichi and comedy manga series turned animated television series written and illustrated by Tatsuya Egawa. Serialized in 1992 through Shueisha's Super Jump, the manga was first adapted into a six episode OVA, original video animation, series produced by Shueisha and KSS on October 27th of 1995. For generations. Forget soda and nobody gets hurt. He'll make your bread. Even the local Yakuza work for Juzo Katsuda. Money. Written and illustrated by Tatsuya Igawa, Golden Boy follows the adventures of a 25 year old Frieder, a Japanese expression for people who lack full time employment or are unemployed, sexual deviant, and traveling student named Kentara Oi. Despite having met the requirements for a law degree at a young age, Katara left Tokyo University without graduating and instead decided to roam Japan. The series depicts him living the life of a free spirit, roaming Japan from town to town, job to job, as he meets several arguably attractive women whose lives he dramatically changes, despite poor first impressions. After arriving in a new town and taking up a new part-time job in order to learn a new skill, he surprises everyone by not only picking up the skill in record time, but doing it better than anyone else. With each of these jobs comes one of these attractive girls mentioned earlier, and usually by the end of each chapter, Kataro ends up changing the girl's life positively. For example, by creating a brilliant new form of software, teaching them how to be independent slash their own person, etc. But by the time anyone realizes what he has done, he leaves town on his bicycle and heads for his next lesson in life. Constantly observing as well as studying the people and events around him, Kataro records his feelings in a notebook he carries on his belt. Besides his notebook, Katara sports a red or white baseball cap and backpack, as well as a set of fingerless biker's gloves and jeans befitting the attire of a free spirit and bicyclist. Having done various jobs as he quests around Japan in pursuit of knowledge, Kentaro's ventures include computer programming, housekeeping, teaching, the culinary arts, and most of all, studying. Though many of the characters don't carry over between chapters slash episodes, meaning they appear in one and not the next, ultimately making the series feel more episodic than part of a complete and single storyline, at least for the first two volumes, Kentaro is in fact seen demonstrating the skills he's learned in previous chapters to overcome challenges faced in the current one. Done. He's even so kind as to test how clean it is by rubbing his face across the... Just say that they looked really good. Oh, I'm so glad. Did you hear that, Father? If Mr. Sakata says so, then it must be good. Of course. Now I'll give you another chance. Beginning publication in issue 199-204 of Shueisha Hank Super Jump, a bi-weekly manga anthology published under the Jump line of magazines on February 12th of 1992, a volume collecting the series as one was released only a year later and as of September of 2021, there are 10 volumes with the most recent having been released on January of 1998. Although the series is most known for being a sexually charged gag manga full of raunchy toilet humor, for the third volume onwards things start to change, with the episodic storytelling format replaced by a long continuous story more focused on Kentaro. As Dark Mirage points out in a post on their personal website from September 19th of 2010, Quote, the most obvious shift happens when he encounters a cult bent on world domination who uses s and sexual techniques to brainwash and mind control people, which quickly grows into long discussions about the state of modern society and its use of violence as a tool of conflict resolution, the role of the educational system in producing unthinking slaves for the system, and the role of sex in achieving inner and outer peace. For many, especially those only familiar with the animated series, this may come as a bit of a shock, given that the series is far more thought-provoking or drastically explicit, nudity-wise. In these eight volumes, the author uses the series not as a way to entertain the masses through the use of absurd sexual fantasies, like they did in the first three volumes, but as a soapbox to voice a series of anti-establishment and leftist ideologies from a Japanese politics point of view in manga form. So the main messages repeated in Golden Boy are, sex is both a tool of political control and social liberation, true love is not possessive, and love does not tie you to your partner, Lifelong self-motivated learning is superior to systematically imposed rote learning, i.e. street smart over book smart. The Japanese educational system destroys a person's inherent ability to learn and brainwashes him into a conforming slave. A possible explanation for Tatsu's arguably intense and sudden shift towards Japanese leftist ideologies would be the political climate of the era and place in which he was raised. 
born only a year after the heavily opposed 1960 signing of a revision of the U.S.-Japan Security Treaty, a treaty that permits the presence of U.S. military bases on Japanese soil and commits the two nations to defend each other if one or the other is attacked, Tetsuya's early childhood, a moment in a person's life described as a foundation for lifelong learning, behavior, and health, was most certainly filled with a barrage of protests and other politically charged public events. Additionally, in 1968 and 1969, Japanese universities were racked by student protests that ultimately forced the closure of campuses nationwide. Protests that were arguably charged by dispute over unpaid internships at the University of Tokyo Medical School and subsequently put education reform at the top of the agenda for the Japanese government. Becomes irreplaceable at whatever he does. And then... Their garments, her sinuous body beckoned. And then, in response, I felt my own beast rising, engorged with the passionate blood pumping from my own heart. I felt Adapted by Shueisha and KSS, the world and characters of Tatsuya Egawa's Golden Boy was also made into an anime starting on October 27th of 1995. First released in Japan on VHS and later on Laserdisc, the anime adaptation of Tatsuya Egawa's Golden Boy was actually a series of six original video animations, abbreviated as OVA. They are Japanese animated films and series made specifically for release in home video formats without prior showings on television or in theaters, except the slight possibility of the first part being broadcasted for promotional purposes. With Mito Awada, a Japanese actor, voice actor, and singer well known for his performance as Canada in the 1988 anime film Akira, and Doug Smith voicing Kentaro in the original Japanese version and English dub respectively, the series was licensed in the West by ADV Films, a home video publication arm of ADV Vision based in Houston, Texas, and was released on VHS in both subtitled and dubbed versions, only to later be released as two DVD volumes on April 23rd and July 18th of 2002, with a complete series release on May 25th of 2004. As mentioned earlier, despite its mature content, the Golden Boy OVA series was well received, especially by English viewers, which of course has led the series having been positively received by English language reviewers since the first OVA's release in October of 1995. Despite its mature content, some reviewers, like Louis Cruz of Anime on DVD, went so far as to say that it easily deserves the essential moniker bestowed upon it by ADV, with a surprisingly well-written story and characters, given that it is in fact an erotic comedy. Thank you for watching. My name is Jacko. If you want to know more about me, check out my Twitter. If you want to watch slash read the series in its entirety for yourself, as well as read slash watch the additional content related to the manga and anime adaptation, you can find links to everything mentioned in both the description and pinned comment below. Make sure to hit subscribe and that like button below if you enjoyed the video, as well as leave a comment as to which anime, movie, or game series you'd like us to cover in a future video. If you enjoyed this video and would like to not only see them continue but improve in quality, consider supporting us on Patreon. Link in the description below. Impact on various characters' lives is a fact. <laughs>